Hi everyone, this is Dr. Ranjani, Assistant Professor of Physics, RMD Engineering College. Today's topic is band gap of nanomaterials. In the unit 5, nano devices, the subject name is Physics for Information Science and the subject code is PH8252. What are nanomaterials? Nanomaterials are small sized materials ranging between 1 to 100 nanometer. What is a band gap? Band gap is the energy gap or energy separation or even energy difference between the valence band and the conduction band. How energy bands are formed? For simplicity and better understanding, let us consider an isolated silicon atom. The atomic number of silicon is 14. The 14 electrons are distributed in the K, L, M shells as 2, 8 and 4 respectively. The electronic configuration can be written as 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p2. An isolated atom possesses discrete energies of different electrons. If we draw that for a single silicon atom, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p2. This is for one silicon atom. Consider, I have one more silicon atom here and the discrete energy levels of that silicon atom has been drawn. When these two atoms are brought closer together, what will happen? They form a combined system and the energies will not be in the same level but it will change. They form a closely spaced two energy levels such as oneness of one silicon atom and the oneness of another silicon atom will be formed similar way for 2s2 and for 2p6 3s2 and 3p2 consider a bulk silicon material A three dimensional solid. One centimeter cube volume of a three dimensional solid material consists of 10 power 23 atoms. Then 10 power 23 closely spaced energy levels are formed. Instead, they merge together. And an energy band is formed likewise. Thus, a bulk material has thick energy bands due to merging of adjacent energy levels of these large volume of atoms. In between the energy bands, there are ranges of energy which are entirely impossible known as forbidden energy gap. This is the region forbidden for the electrons. What will happen when the size of the bulk material is reduced? During the reduction process, based on the number of atoms present in the given volume, the number of overlapping of energy levels decreases. This will cause an increase in the energy gap between conduction band and the valence band. Here, del E denotes the spacing between the subshells. Let us consider a particle in which there are 12 atoms. In the reduced volume, there will be discrete energy levels in the particle and the band gaps become widened. Now, when the particle is further reduced so that the particle has only 4 atoms in it, the removal of atoms adjusts the boundaries of the band gap and the subshells split. 
and also we can see that the spacing between the subshells increases. Thus, in large volume bulk material, a small band gap is present and when its volume gets reduced, its band gap increases. The electron is excited or de-excited across the band gap. The energy absorbed during excitation and released during excitation will be equal to the band gap energy of the material. Due to quantum confinement effect, the electrons and holes are confined in semiconductors in the nanoscale especially. The energy difference between the filled state and the empty states increases or widen the band gap of semiconductor. Band gaps play a fundamental role in the electrical and optical properties of semiconductor materials. In optoelectronic devices, this larger band gap drastically changes the optical and electronic properties of semiconductors at nanoscale. So far we have completed about band gap of nanomaterials. Let us all meet in the next video lecture. Thank you.